Hello everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to Mass Effect. In the last episode, we found Garrus and we enlisted him in the ranks of our team. Uh, team against Saren. And we are going to pay a visit to Fist now and see if we can get some information on a Quarian who may or may not have evidence regarding Saren's betrayal to the, uh, uh, the council. So, off recording, I went into my inventory and I equipped some better weapons for me and my squad. I also checked the armor and I decided this is probably the best one for now, just for the damage protection. I also upgraded it so I have health regen now, which is nice. And yeah, everything else I pretty much turned it to Omni Jail, which is going to be useful for hacking later on. Oh. There's a, f there's a fist. Oh boy. Oh boy. Kaden, you might die. He has turrets. Why does he have turrets? Smart move. Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's lying. Yep, I agree. You better start explaining before I lose my temper. The Quarian isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Impossible. The Shadow Broker only works through his agents. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Uh oh. Well, you've got to save her then. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Alright, Fist, you better run before I kill you. I never want to see you again. Is that clear? Don't worry, you'll never see me again. Good. Thank you. Alright, let's begin manual override. Oh, wow. Oh god, I'm fucking this up badly. Oh, I failed that. God damn it, dude. Alright, well, I'll just use Omni Joe. I'm not missing out on that stuff. I can't go back that way. Oh, there's still fugs in here? Oh boy. Oh yeah, there's still fugs. Come on, I just... I let your boss live, and you're still trying to kill me. There's so many of them. Oh my. Yeah, you can destroy me all you want, mate. I'm still gonna kill you. Nice shotgun. Oh, Kaden died. Rest in peace. Ah, I think we're all clear. Good, 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 good. Alright, let's we're making our escape now. Gotta go save that quarry. I just realized I have a time limit. I didn't see that until now. Fist. They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Uh oh. Trouble's brewing. Ooh. Glad I'm accurate enough. Him. Are you okay? Were you hurt in the fight? 
I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? A friend. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. The ambassador's office. It's safe there. You'll want to see this anyway. Not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many? Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? You're gonna love me forever. Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Clearly. Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Pilgrimage. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Mm, something of value. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Mm, interesting. Please continue. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Mm, interesting. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, Careful and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Ah, we've got him. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Reapers, eh? Hey? Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. She's right. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods. The pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. Yeah, <laughs> they need to know. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian. My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. Ah, you could be useful. Take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. <laughs> okay, now we have our two favorite characters in the entire game. We have Garrus and we have Tally. Let's go. You two are my new best friends in the whole wide world. Alright, so we could do that. Or, 
we could try and find Rexy Rex. Uh, I don't know why we didn't find him earlier. That was kind of weird. Not gonna lie. Strange greeting, human. This is really not a good time. So okay, I thought he was gonna say something different. It's still the same audio from last two episodes ago. Alright, oh, I pressed the wrong button there. Alright, I need to find Cora's den. Because I'm going to try and find Rex, and if I can't find him, I will probably try to. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Ah, oh, no problem, dude. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Happy to help. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Oh, that's kind of a dick move. Did they say why? Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. Well, I'll make sure they return your body. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. I understand, dude. I will find him. Where are you? Expensive bar. Typical. Getting drunk off of people's sadness. I'll make sure he pays for this. That's Palin. I don't really need to worry about him at the moment. So this is the bar. Here he is. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes, you can give me a dead body. Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Narali Bhatia died on Eden Prime. As Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. She's toxic? You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nurali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. That is inhumane, dude. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. I do, but holding someone's body for your own personal gain is not a nice thing to do. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I am out here fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. So inhumane, dude. Come on. Alright, speaking of Paragon, I have some more upgrades to go, like this one, extra point in charm. Let's get Adrenaline Burst. I love that ability so much. Amlock load, first aid. Thank you. And I start upgrading my pistol. All right. Nice. Good work, lads. So much empty space. A thousand of my people could live here and hardly even see each other. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Okay, well, you guys are still a bunch of assholes. All right, let's, uh, so let's go speak to Thingy again, Mr. Bartia, and tell him his wife is coming back home. Uh, don't know, I want to avoid him. I believe he was through this door. There he is. Good news, dude. Your wife's coming home. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? Yep, she is returning to you, buddy. I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Good. Good, good. good. Alright. So let's find a fast travel and try and find Rexy. 
A gentleman's club. Yeah, a gentleman's club full of dead bodies. I'm just curious as to who's still here. Don't. Really? Just casually reopen the club even though I killed everyone? Okay. Okay. People got a party, I guess. God, you guys are insane. Everyone's literally back. Everyone's still back. <laughs> Love it so much. I can even walk through here and everything. Is he still dead in this room? No, he's gone as well. Oh yeah, someone picked his body up. Oh no, he didn't even die, did he? he just ran off. Okay then, so where the hell's Rex? <laughs> That's my question. Yeah, I have no idea where Rex is. I'm gonna have to check everywhere for him, aren't I? I wanna find him. I'm gonna try to anyway. Uh, he might be in the markets actually, looking for better weapons to kill people with. Or maybe not. Nah, he's gotta be here somewhere. Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. <gasps> Have I lost him? Has he despawned? Oh no, that's not good. He's gotta be here somewhere. On the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? Ah, uh, would these help? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. I can offer more. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. I'm just taking money off of people. I love it. Oh, I haven't been up here yet. At least I don't think I have. Uncharted. Oh, this probably isn't going to take me anywhere, is it? Funky beats, though. Rita. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do? For you? you got problems? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Dorn before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. It's okay. You can, you can keep talking. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSAC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. That is not good. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. <laughs> Have you talked to CSEC about it? Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it for Jenna's safety. I'll speak of her. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. No problem. So I'll go back to Cora's den. They are sending me all over the place, man. Can I dance? I'm waiting for someone else. Low stakes quasar. Hell yeah. Payouts. 
Let's play. Yeah. Uh, add one to it. Did I win? Uh, four to seven. I win. I'm good. I got minus ten credits. I'm so good at this game. High stakes quasar. <gasps> Suspicious gambling machine. Haha. Get that, my guys. That play by the rules. Don't play at all. Even though I did lose ten credits. Oh. Well. I don't even know where I'm gonna be able to find Rex. But oh well. Let's take a nice quick travel to Cora's Den so we can talk to her sister or something. Right. I'm wondering if you run faster with weapons equipped or not. I don't think you do, I think it's just a change of field of view. Alright, so Jenna, Jenna, there she is, is that her? Yep, yeah, that's her. I'll wait right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? I need to talk to you about your work with CSAC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. She puts on a brave face. Okay. They really can't though, that's the problem. I don't even know where we're at. So, I guess we could probably check the journal, see what everyone says. There's some stranger to in the house, just oh, this rock cluster. I already did this one, didn't I? You return to Rita. Oh, okay, return to Rita. Track the signal. The signal? Ooh. Okay. Might have to go towards then. Oh, sweet. Fine by me. Oh, yeah, Rex. Rex, the Krogan Bounty Hunter, has been questioned at the CSEC Academy. You can meet him there if you want to speak with him. I need to go see sick. Ah, oh, I know where Rex is now. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, so I have, I have a game plan now, which you'll be happy to hear. Oh, hang on, I've been stopped. New journal entry, let's see, read your sister. Check Mummy and Cora's Den and told you to meet in C Academy if you wanted to help Jenna. Alright, so we gotta go to C Sick Academies. I don't see why we shouldn't go there. Cause I'm definitely going. Hope it is. Ah, here we go. Embassy is in C Sick. Embassy and the Vertices Academy are located across the bridge to your left. Alright, well, we have a starting area to go. Seasec Academy. Down this ramp and past a small plant, the Lance Ducking Bay can be found here. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Down this ramp. There, this is a ramp. There's no C-Sec down this ramp though. That's the issue. Ah, here we go, C-Sec Academy. This looks to be the right thing. Elevator leads down to C-Sec Academy, that stacking bay can be found here. All right, let's go, C-Sec. All right, going down. Very slowly, going down. In light of the recent
recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. I love the elevator rides in this game. It's so awkward that we'll just stand there in silence. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're in seasick now. There's Rex. Look at him. Looking all cool. How you doing, buddy? You. Human. You the one they call Shepard? Yep. That's me, Commander Shepard. The name's Rex. The Shadow Broker paid me a lot of money to get rid of Fist. Only you got there first. You're welcome. Sounds like I did your job for you. When I get paid to do a job, I finish it. I don't like where this is going. But I didn't finish this job, Shepard. You did. So the payment is yours. I don't want no money. You're gonna pay me for getting rid of Fist? I won't take credit for someone else's work. I transferred the payment into your account. I like the way you handle Fist. Now I hear you're going after Saren. I was thinking I should come along. Uh, uh, fair enough. We'll take you with us, Rex. Smart move, Shepard. This is Rex. This is my second favorite character in the whole of Mass Effect. Yes. Now, before anyone says anything, yes, Rex is to a lot of people their favorite character. I like him, but I prefer Garrus in terms of because he's with you the entire trilogy, and I love it. Plus, Garrus is an awesome character. But yeah, these two are pretty much coming with me wherever I go. So yeah, these two are the best. Alright, so he. I need to find someone else in CSEC as well. There was a guy that wanted to talk to me. Let me just check the time. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna try and find this guy, and then we're gonna call it an episode. I reckon. Is that Garrus? Garrus, I think I found your twin brother. Okay, sorry about that. Don't mind me. Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? Don't mind my snooping. What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. That is a serious claim, dude. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Mm, that's... Okay, well, how can I help? Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around. But you'll show him, won't you? I'll beat the crap out of him. Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Well, good luck. I know Shorban. He tried to sell me some overpriced crap. Good guy. Hello. You always see a few civilians hanging around the academy waiting to speak to an officer about some problem. Detective Chellick, come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Sorry. I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Mm, that'd be worth it. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. It's nice to see you're still working all the angles, Chalik. It's part of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? 
What do you need? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Okay, what makes them illegal? Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. Alright, well I can talk to this Jax of yours. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Alright, fine. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Oh, so now I'm the buyer. So you're putting my life at risk. Thanks, buddy. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. In the next episode, we are hopefully going to finish off all quests and, and missions we have for the Citadel and finally take off into space again for another mission. Uh, fingers crossed, anyway. <laughs> Until then, guys, have a great day. Thank you for watching. In the next episode, I will see you again. <laughs> God damn, I'm so awkward. Goodbye.